Earlier this month, HCTV reported that the Hoboken Housing Authority police precinct contract had expired on June 30th. Now that some time has passed, HHA Executive Director Carmelo Garcia was able to update us on this situation. Right now, we have done an outstanding job in bettering our safety, the security. So we can rely on the partnership where, like anybody else in the city, we're not an isolated entity, therefore those police services that everyone else gets, we should receive, and we are going to. We've been reassured by the new chief and the public safety director in the city that we're gonna receive those. So we're working with um, the chief right now to create a neighborhood watch. We also have our officers who live in the buildings. It's called the Officer Next Door program. And so each development has a police officer whom they're required to conduct their own vertical sweeps and work with the residents. Also, they're available for any intelligence or any information that should be shared with the uh, Hoboken Police Department. So that's a great advantage to us. But we've come such we've come such a long way in the progress and transformation that I'm proud of, where my residents also serve to police their own developments, and they're not afraid to report any suspicion of illegal activity or crime or anything like that. They're willing to work with the police department, and that's going to be a plus. That's a real blessing. Unfortunately, HUD has changed the ruling or the laws on the use of capital fund monies, and therefore you can't apply them anymore for protective services. I believe that right now we've reached a level where this community is a law-abiding community and our citizens, our residents of this community are going to work diligently to protect and to ensure that they have a safe environment. But by the same token, we're going to rely on the regular police to protect and serve our community like anywhere else in the city. For the senior buildings, we're going to get protective services there from the operations. We're going to basically go out and look to hire you know, security for those buildings. We were paying $540,000 to the city. That was a big, you know, that was a big amount in order to receive the Housing Police Bureau.